connect to the controversial databases from the library's homepage, click on Databases. There are four databases listed under Argument Debate. Opposing viewpoints and issues and controversies cover a broad range of hot topics. Global Issues, as the name implies, focuses on issues that have an international concern. CQ Researcher explores issues that have governmental policy implications. I'm going to demo two of these databases, starting with CQ Researcher. When accessing these databases from off-campus, you'll be asked to enter your MEID and password. You can use the search box or browse topics to help you identify a topic that you'd like to research. As you click through menus, you're narrowing your topic. I'm going to begin with the topic Human Rights. Then I'm going to narrow my topic to domestic issues. Pay attention to the publication date for the most current topics. I'm going to narrow my topic even further to hate crimes. The full report includes a lot of information, including an overview and background information, along with a pro-con essay. In this case, each of these authors are responding to the question, should more hate crimes be prosecuted? This is an example of a well-defined research question. Let's look at another database. Opposing Viewpoints also contains pro-con essays, but in addition to those, it includes academic journals, statistics, newspapers, magazines, videos, podcasts, and even images. I can browse issues like CQ Researcher, or I can use the search box. I'm going to browse again to find a topic. I'm seeing all of the topics here. I can also begin narrowing my topic by choosing a category. I'm going to pick Law and Politics. And then I'm going to pick Facebook. At the top is an overview article, but notice that there's also all other types of information on my topic. I like to begin by browsing through viewpoints to learn more about the issue. The topic Facebook is still too broad to research. Viewpoints will give me some ideas on how to focus my argument or structure my research question related to Facebook. For example, I could research about data privacy in Facebook or antitrust issues. Or I could write an argument for improving the work conditions for Facebook moderators who spend hours a day sifting through stressful content. Let's look at the content types again. If you're looking for a scholarly interpretation on your issue, browse through the academic journals. If you're looking for the most current information, oftentimes newspapers are the best place to start. Statistics, infographics, and images are wonderful sources of information to visually illustrate the point you're trying to make. You won't always see every one of these content types with every topic, but they are helpful in guiding you to the information that best meets your need. For example, I've now decided I'm going to focus my research on content moderators. My list of content types is smaller, but still useful.